Welcome back to this video. Today I'm going to be teaching you about brush tailed possums. When I go into a couple slides, I'm going to be silent and turn up the music and you can read it. Now this body is a little blurry, I know, but if you want to learn about more, just go on Google, search up brush tail body and the skeleton version and then you may see a clearer one but at least in this um photo you can see the body skeleton thing too now here's some questions i'm going to turn up the music and read this If I didn't get enough time, um, I'm going to give you a second right now to pause the video and go read all those questions because some of them are pretty important. Now, this next slide I'm going on to, you may want to read, but it won't take a lot. <laughs> if you still haven't been done, with reading this again pause it i'm giving you a second and yeah now i'm gonna give you a second to read this If you're not done with it again, pause the video. <laughs> and these are the predators. I'll read it out. The common brush tail possums' main predators include dingoes, pythons, foxes, and cats. What they mean by cats is obviously wild cats. I'm pretty sure wild cats. <laughs> now, their habitat is a common brush tail possum live in urban areas like forests and woodlands and help now here's a video that we're going to be checking out in a second possum. brush tailed possums are part of the marsupial family they are found in australia tasmania and new zealand as well as several smaller neighboring islands they live in woodlands and forest areas as well as gardens parks and even big cities when they are fully grown, they reach an average of 40 to 50 centimetres in length, plus an extra 25 to 30 centimetres for their tail, and they weigh an average of 3 to 4 kilograms. They have a pointed snout, pink nose, long whiskers, and large ears. They also have sharp claws, which they use to climb trees. They vary considerably in colour. They can be black or grey, reddish brown, golden, or white. They are omnivores. Their diet varies depending on where they live, but they mainly eat leaves, flowers, shoots, fruits, and seeds, as well as insects, birds, and eggs, and occasionally other small animals. In urban areas, they scavenge for food in rubbish bins. They are nocturnal animals. They are active at night and usually spend their days sleeping in dens. In urban areas, they commonly make dens in attics, abandoned buildings, and garages. In the wild, they mainly live in trees, but sometimes they live underground in old burrows or dense vegetation. Brush-tailed possums tend to lead a solitary life. They mark their territory with a scent released from glands on their chest. If two possums meet at night, they will try to avoid each other. Fights between adult possums are rare, although they do make threatening noises towards each other. Young possums may be attacked if they try to take over an adult's range. In some cases, in areas where numbers are high and shelters are in short supply, several possums may share a den. Brush-tailed possums communicate by using a wide range of sounds, including grunts, clicks, coughs, and screeching. 
Breeding can occur at any time of the year. After a pregnancy of around 17 days, the female gives birth to an average of one baby. The baby is born at a very undeveloped stage and must use what small amount of energy it has to crawl up the mother's body and into her pouch. Once in the pouch, the baby starts suckling from one of her teats. After four or five months, the baby leaves the pouch and rides on the mother's back for a further two or three months. They will then leave the mother and go off on their own. They live for an average of six to seven years in the wild and more than 15 years in captivity.